Well, in the previous video, we looked at solving part one, so let's get into part two. Oops, here I forgot my units. Let's just put it in QS is equal to 3.26 and that would be in meters okay can't forget our units now it's very important now part two now here they're asking us to find the measure of the angle rqs now quickly rqs rqs remember the letter that is in the middle here the q is where the angle is being formed so they're speaking about in triangle rqs this triangle here we are speaking about the angle that is located at the point q okay so we can just simply call that angle theta okay let's just call that angle theta and as we had established in the previous video here we would have a 90 degree angle okay and also on this side we would have a 90 degree angle now looking at triangle qs R, the side that is opposite, which is QR, opposite from the right angle that is at S, would be called the hypotenuse. Okay, so here we have the hypotenuse to be 8.4, and I'll just put hype for short. All right, now um, position here, and as I said, you always can draw a little man at the angle that is given or the angle that you're asked to find. Now. If I'm positioned here, um, if you notice in part one, we worked out QS to be 3.26. So this side here, the perpendicular height is 3.26 meters. Okay. Now, having the side that is beside the angle, another word for beside when using trig ratios is the adjacent. Okay. And having the hypotenuse, then we could ask ourselves, since we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, which trig ratio is jumping out at us? And obviously, it would be cosine. So we could say cos of theta, given the fact that the angle that we're trying to find, we, call, we have called it theta, must be equal to the adjacent, which is ADJ for short, over the hypotenuse, which is AYH. YP. Now quickly we could just substitute. We could say the cos of theta, which we don't know, must be equal to eight, which must be equal to the adjacent, which is three point three point two six two six over eight point four eight point four. Let me just pull this up a bit. We may need a little bit more space to to work with. Okay. So we could just go ahead quickly and solve this by saying, all right, when we divide 3.26 divided by 8.4, we would have gotten for this cos theta, and you could try it on your calculator, cos theta is equal to, and I'm going to write my answer up to 4dp, 0.3880. One and I just wrote my answer to 4 dp. Okay, now cos is multiplying theta, so we need to solve for theta, we need to make that the subject. So if cos is multiplying, I must do the opposite, which is to divide through by cos. Okay, quickly. So cos will cancel cos, leaving me with theta is equal to now. Check this out, guys. This is very important, and I'll just make a quick note here. In indices, we learned that a to the m negative m rather a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a to the positive m now if a base raised to a power okay in the in the and the power is positive in the denominator when we bring that base up in the numerator the power will become negative okay and and and, and it's the same as saying 2 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 2 2 to the positive one all right and if you're not sure you could always visit our playlist on indices and you will get that um, lesson more in depth okay now here I'm this is cost to the to the positive one down there so when I bring up the cost to the positive one in my numerator I should have cost to the negative one or cost inverse and I'm taking that of 0 0.3881 okay now when you plug that in on your calculator you should get theta is equal to 67.1637 and again I have I have written this down up to 4 dp so basically um, they have asked us for three significant figure okay that's what they asked for 
the axis for there so I'm counting this would be one sig fig that would be two sig fig and this would be three sig fig now if you look carefully the the digit to the right of the one is six and remember if it's five or more we would have to add one to this digit here so we are we have to say now then the angle therefore the angle RQS RQS that they're asking us to find is equal to 67.2 degrees and that's our answer bye bye okay before we go um, in the next video we'll be looking at part 3 uh, however if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them and we'll get back to you as soon as possible or you can even subscribe to the channel so that you can get the latest update on our videos bye bye